dozens of cars backed up on Interstate 41, all of them trying to get to the Milwaukee County Zoo. With the sunny weather and free admission day, folks were even parking on exit ramps to try to get a spot. Our Jenna Ray talks with the zoo's director about changes they desperately need that won't happen for a while. It was just as far as you can see, as far as you can see. Well, it was crazy though. It was like very, very packed. Pure chaos this weekend at Milwaukee County Zoo's first free day of the year. 30 minutes or, or so in the line, literally. So we had to go around and park down by Mayfair Road and, you know, just walk the rest of the way. These zoo goers and thousands more struggle just to find a parking spot. This is the first stop for cars to get in to pay to park at the Milwaukee County Zoo. But on days when there's a high volume of people, it's forcing cars to get backed up on the Blue Mound Road and even further. Highway surveillance video shows cars backed up on Interstate 41, some even parked on the exit ramp. I appreciate them taking the effort to come to the zoo, but I want to make it more efficient for folks and make it more enjoyable. When it comes to parking, the zoo's executive director, Amos Morris, says that's why county supervisors gave them nearly $2 million to address it. These dollars were allocated for design, and so in design, you're doing research as well as drawing it out. Morris says the planning process alone could take eight to 10 months. The plan is then given to county supervisors in hopes of getting even more money to actually make the necessary changes. Changes, Morris says, could greatly impact the zoo's bottom line. If I'm facing a two hour wait and I've got kids in the back of the car, I might just drive an hour and go somewhere else. And uh, we saw, we see people leaving the lines. Just the frustration of being in a line, coming to a place where you're supposed to have fun, uh, is a challenge. In Milwaukee County, Jenna Ray, TMJ4 News.